Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to another video and today we're gonna look at all the products that I've used up in the month of October. As you can see, it's a full basket again, so let's just jump into it. Uh, in case you're new here, hi, my name's Sasha and I love indie makeup, I love colorful makeup, especially eyeshadows. That's what I mainly focus on and I like to review skincare from once in a while, every once in a while. So if that's something that interests you, then I would be very happy to see you here. Today I'm wearing the Fall Magic uh, palette from the Unearthly Cosmetics. This is my third look in my uh, three look video about this palette. By the time this video goes up, you can, um, the review of Fall Magic palette is already up on my channel. So if you wanna see uh, what I created with this palette and what I think about it, then definitely uh, head over there and there's everything that you need to know. When it comes to all the products I've used up, uh, first I have the Goldwell Dual, Dual Senses uh, Ultra Volume Body Fying Spray. This is kind of like a volumizing spray for fine hair. Um, it has uh, rice protein and it's kind of like a leave-in spray uh, that you're supposed to use uh, on your roots. I found that this kind of makes my hair a little sticky and kind of crusty and um, I don't feel like it really gave me any volume. I feel like I like more volumizing serums that you like actually massage into your scalp. I don't really, these sprays, maybe they work if you blow dry your hair, but I don't blow dry my hair. And if I use blow dryer, I use the diffuser attachment and I don't think this helps with that. So yeah, I've used it up. I feel like it helps to add a little bit of texture to the hair and I have super fine and like silky hair so maybe maybe that's good but I don't I don't think I will be repurchasing this one it's just not the right fit for me then I have the Beauty Bay uh, Beauty Bay Brush Up Brows Brow Soap I've had this one from I think last summer it's quite a long time since I bought this and as you can see there's like a little bit of products in the product in the corners but I can't even like get in there with my spoolie anymore so I've decided that it's it's used up I forgot to count how many times I've used this but as I said I've had it for like a year now and I didn't use it all the time like I was kind of using this and like brow gels and like brow um what is it called brow pomades so like i wasn't using this every single time but it lasted forever and yeah uh it was quite nice you only need a little bit it doesn't leave any like white residue it does Kind of laminate the brow hairs so that they don't stick anywhere and it lasts all day um it takes a while when you, before you figure out the consistency that you need for your hair i have pretty like bushy brows or like there's the hair itself are really long especially in the first half and they're like very they don't want to move uh, they they kind of stay where they want to grow and they're pretty thick so for me this helped and it really like stick them to uh and they were really like stuck to my face and they wouldn't move so for the days that i really wanted my brows to not move this is great then i have the garnier um umbra solar invisible protect mist this is the face and body mist uh and it's the spf 30. uh i've completely used it up this summer even though I bought it last summer but I bought it like at the end of last summer and I really like these mists because you don't need mirror in order to apply them uh, there's no like white cast 
uh, and it's really comfortable, really hydrating, doesn't feel oily or sticky, super easy to use. It has that little like metal ball in it, so you have to um, shake it before you use it. And it has vitamin E and aloe vera, so yeah, it, it's really nice and I would use it when I was kind of on the go, especially on vacations. I would just have it in my backpack and every couple uh, hours or so I would just spray this all over myself and... You know, it's not as messy as um, cream. I would usually use cream in the morning on all on my entire body, and then during the day I would just reapply this. Then I have the uh, Makeup Academy Pro Base Suit and Control Primer Stick. This is kind of like a cooling under eye cream or like a stick. I still have some product in it, but A, I've been using it for the past like year or so and this stick is like falling off and it's kind of dried up and it's like shrivelly and weird and it doesn't have the jelly texture that it had. Now it's like very stiff and I don't feel like I'm actually getting any product uh, on my face. It just kind of dried uh, down and it really shriveled because I only like uh, roll it up just like a little bit but you can see that there's nothing on the sides and there were product on the side so it just kind of you know dried up and and kind of uh, crumbled so yeah uh, not a bad product but I don't think you need it it wasn't as cooling and it's a little bit stiffer formula I prefer more jellier consistency and now I have like a really basic jelly eye, uh, eye cream from Balea and it has like a metal tip and I feel like that's a lot more cooling than this stick ever could so yeah it, it's not a bad product it's just you don't need it and uh, it's not it's just not something to write home about then uh, another uh, hair product and this is the Goldwell Dual Senses Bond Pro 60, 60 second treatment. Uh, this is kind of like a mask. It's like a deep restoring or like replenishing mask for your hair. I would usually use it when I would either if I would color my hair then the like next wash or if my hair felt really dry uh, this is like a mini version, as you can see it's just like a tester pretty much and I didn't mind this one and uh, usually these like really like bonding masks or like these really deeply nourishing masks they uh, they make my hair greasy and like really limp and really oily fast but this one didn't and it, it worked really nicely. This has um, rice protein in it and I think also like yeah, uh, willow bark extract and yeah it has a couple really nice uh, ingredients in it and I quite like it and I like Goldwell as a brand so not a bad product. Then another hair product, this is the Schwarzkopf Live Ultra Bright uh, Semi Pigmented Hair Color and this one is in the shade uh, Purple Punk. I've um, used this one at the end of September I believe and I've had it uh, for the first like half of October before it washed out. They say that this is supposed to last up to 15 washes. I feel like for me it lasted like three weeks and I usually um, wash my hair two to three times a week so I mean there was a little bit of purple still even after the three weeks but it was it wasn't as much uh, important thing to mention I use clarifying or like deep blame or like deep cleaning uh, shampoos uh, because of all the products I put in my hair uh, so that definitely helped to wash this out so maybe if you use more gentle or like color focused shampoo 
then this would work. Uh, then I have the Colourpop and the Muppets uh, Lip Balm. This one is in the shade... I have no clue what shade this is, but I will link it down below. Um, as you can see, there's just like a tiny bit of product left. It On the promo pictures or like the pictures on the website, it looked like it's gonna be orangey uh, lip balm. It's kind of like peachy uh, in real life, uh, but it's really nice hydrating formula. It's a little bit too soft formula, so when I was uh, carrying it in my bag, it would like melt a little bit when it was like summer. Uh, but it's really, really hydrating, really comfortable. Love the applicator. Uh, it's really easy to use. And it's a small little one that you can carry in your um, in your bag. And I think I will try more of these uh, colored lip tints or like lip uh, balms from Colourpop because the formula is extremely nice. And then I have uh, last two products. So I have the uh, Wet n Wild Mega Length Mascara. I was able to use this 102 times. I was using it in the past three months. It has this really small uh, brush that is really nice for lower lashes. That's what I mostly was using this for because it doesn't do anything on the upper lashes. It doesn't give you length or volume or anything. It barely coats the lashes and it's very like goop, well, it's very like thick drier formula so it's really hard to actually get it properly on your upper lashes and because the bristles are so uh, short they don't really do anything so on the lower lashes this is perfect mascara and it's very cheap so um, why not use it there but for the upper lashes it just didn't do anything for me. It didn't even properly uh, coated them black so I don't really see a reason to repurchase this one. And then the last product is the Rimmel Lasting Radiance Concealer. And um, I loved this one. This is the first concealer I've ever tried that I was like genuinely just I couldn't live without it. Uh, I'm trying, trying to find a concealer that would be just as good as this one. I was able to use this concealer 271 times. I've had it for like a year and a bit because I was using other concealers as well. But this one is amazing. It's very brightening. It's a very soft, almost like serum-y formula. It doesn't have a lot of coverage, but it really brightens the under eyes. So if you just want to get rid of a little bit of that dark... Um, undertone this one is great it doesn't crease it's very easy to like you just need a little bit and it's easy to spread i wouldn't powder it because i feel like if it would move a little bit during the day i would just pat it with my hand and that was better than um putting powder on top of it also i feel like when you have like radiant concealer and you put powder on top of it it kind of gets rid of the radiance and it kind of grays and it kind of turns a little bit gray so i think it's better to use it without um without conceal uh without powder and i really like it and i like the applicator it's like super super small uh, doe foot applicator so yeah rimmel really did good with this one and i would 100 percent uh recommend this and if i won't find similar concealer by the end of the year I will definitely repurchase this one right now I have the Maybelline Superstay 20 hours or 30 hours concealer and that one is quite close to this one so they're they're like pretty close to each other but I love the gra uh, radiance one a little bit more and yeah so that's that's the whole um basket full of empties let me know if you've tried any of these products let me know if you agree with me with my review or if you disagree and there's some differences let me know uh, what was your experience 
And let me know if there was a product last month that really surprised you that you've tried or maybe finished uh, using and you were like really happy about it. Um, I would definitely like to know that as well. So this is gonna be everything for today. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I will be very happy to see you in my next video. So have a great day and bye!